So uh, we'll factor this one out. Um, some of you saw that you could factor a 3 out from all three of these terms. Because if we add the two digits together, those numbers are divisible by 3. Just real quick, that's how you know a number is divisible by 3, all right? So if we factor out a 3 from each of these, then I got a 3 and a 4y squared minus 16y plus 15. Now we're just focusing on the inside of the parentheses. And the a value on the inside of the parentheses is 4. The b value is negative 16. And the c value is a positive 15. So a times c is 4 times 15. That's 60. And when we factor this out, uh, what did we get? Um, oh, that's excellent. Very good. Negative 6 and negative 10. So that's where we're going to split the negative 16y up into. Um, and it doesn't matter which one you use where. Let's just make that a negative 6y. And then minus 10y right there. If that helps, you can put a plus between those as well. So this is what we have now. 4y squared minus 6y minus, uh, plus negative 10y if you want. Plus 15 and now we can factor these by grouping. So the three, now let's look at the first two terms. Looks like we can factor out a two y from these two, which leaves us with two y minus three. And then we'll add this to the second set. So we got a negative 10 y plus 15. I'm gonna factor out a negative five from this means I'll just make that minus 5 there as well. And what do I have left over? I've got 2y, and now that's minus 3. And that's inside that big set of parentheses. So we've got 3 times, and then we're going to factor out the 2y minus 3 from both of those terms. And then what do we have left over? We had a 2y minus the 5, like this. And we can put that in big parentheses, but formally we would not want the second set. So we got, oh, well, that's it, right there. And again, you could check this. You could factor the 3 in and then use the FOIL. And you'd get the same thing that we started with. So, yes, question?